mayor of this city now putting in place a curfew that's going to last until Thursday morning and the streets of the capital city are totally dead. But we are hearing the sounds of intense battles being fought. The sounds are rumbling around the edge of the city. Once again, the capital, Kyiv, struck by Russia, another residential neighborhood hit. These images from Ukraine emergency services showing an apartment block smoldering as rescuers helped more than 30 people to safety who were trapped under the rubble. Yet more families made homeless by Putin's war. Many now forced underground. The metro stations across Kyiv were built as nuclear shelters. And so thousands of the city's residents are now living hundreds and hundreds of feet underground to protect themselves from the ongoing Russian bombardment. Despite the dangers, the leaders of three European nations visited Kyiv Tuesday to show solidarity. <laughs> President Zelensky urging other world leaders to do the same even as Russia bombards cities across the country. On Monday, Fox News cameraman Pierre Zakshivsky and producer Alexandra Kuvshinova, who were killed while reporting near Kyiv. Welcome back to NATO headquarters. U.S. Defense Secretary Austin meeting NATO counterparts ahead of next week's summit, where President Biden meets with leaders from all NATO countries to discuss this war. Zelensky continuing to rally world leaders to his side. On Tuesday, speaking to the Canadian Parliament, calling for a no-fly zone, asking them to imagine what they'd do if it were Toronto being destroyed by Russian bombs. It is clear the damage Putin has inflicted on Ukraine, but for those Russian troops, morale is said to be plummeting. Rockets, missiles and mortars continue to pound Ukraine, with officials estimating Russia has now launched more than 950 missiles since the war began. But the Russian ground troops have made limited or no progress in achieving their goals, leaving the troops demoralized and facing high casualties. They are just sending their like young soldiers to get like slaughtered, I would say, because they're just sending them here. They are here coming in a war that they have no idea, no clue. They don't know the streets, they don't know the corners, they know nothing. A U.S. official telling ABC as many as 10,000 Russian soldiers may have died. And in Moscow itself, the Kremlin cracking down on dissent. Some 15,000 protesters against the war have been detained. One of them, Marina Osvianikova, a producer at Russia's state television, arrested after interrupting a live broadcast with this sign, stop the war, don't believe the propaganda, they're lying to you. The mother of two was released and ordered to pay a fine. It was my own anti-war decision. But the fine was light, perhaps an effort not to give the producer too much attention, leaving a strong suspicion more punishment may come at a later time. But her message to fellow Russians, do not be afraid. They cannot put all of us in jail.